So we have Omni. He's about to join on. He's about to join on. Let's go. Guys, um, we're about to have RT Omni jump onto the stream for a quick interview. Not going to take too much time because he's working on the next Smash 5. But, um, okay, let's call him up. Yo, Omni, what's going hey, on, man? Hey, how's it going? Dude, yo. This is crazy. Omni, yes, we're what playing. is happening? <laughs> um, guys, so let me just do a really quick introduction, then we can get into it. Um, guys, RT Omni, you, most of you would know this guy. They're the creator behind the Smashified series, and beforehand, creating the amazing Rayman leak, a fake Rayman leak that looked exactly like it was a real render from the game. We got RT Omni in here, man. Very interesting to get his perspective, so we're going to talk a little bit about this. So, Omni, first off, man, where were you when this whole thing happened? Because it's fucking 7 a.m. right now. Okay, so, admittedly, I've been playing Splatoon until 5.30 this morning. <laughs> so, I didn't know what was happening until I got on Twitter, because I was starting to edit the video. So, I haven't slept yet. Um, and then as soon as I got back into my computer, everything on Twitter is lighting up. People are asking me is this you and i'm like seriously this looks so completely real how could you possibly <laughs> think this is fake this is ridiculous oh my God, so, no. apparently i've oh. done a number of people's brains if they're uh if they're thinking that they can't trust these videos so. yeah man we saw your your um twitter post you were this like, it's crazy man <laughs> but it, it it looks like a, it was it like a job from you man I, you were the first person i thought of when i saw it but good oh, god man. i could never do anything close to that that's if, the, if that's fake i commend I will pay somebody money if that's fake, because that looks amazing. Yo, seriously, I would too, man. Like, like if it's fake, I, I mean, the possibility's low now, but yo, you heard it from Omni, you heard it from me. I'll pay your ass if it's <laughs> fake at this point, man. Yo, so Omni, man, so so another question, dude. Um, the chat wants to know, what part of the leak did you see that convinced you it was real? Because did, did you believe it as soon as you saw it, or what pushed you over the edge? I mean, so I saw both the Ryu and the Roy uh, videos, and part of it was First of all, there's like the stage with like some sort of Japanese looking pagoda thing in the background, which I'm guessing is the Street Fighter stage, which we haven't yeah. seen. So who could invent that, first of all? Second of all, all of the models look completely on point. It's, it'd be very difficult to to fake the style as well as the just the, the fidelity. I mean, you look at yeah. Project M mods, none of them look quite like uh, what the Brawl models do. So. You know, if someone's able to, to emulate the style that closely, then they should be... Nintendo should be paying them, basically. They should be hired. Yeah, that's a damn good point, too. It, it, yeah, like you said, like like certain things about it. Like, I mean, everyone's saying that, you know, they, they feel like you could definitely do a Smashify that was on that level, but it's just, I guess the major a lot of it was information as well, too, that came out at the same time. So we had the, the Ryu and the Roy together, and then once the video dropped, like, yeah. <laughs> game over. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was it. That was it, man. I mean, Holy like shit. the, uh, the it's like the victory sequence for classic mode or whatever. So the fact that they're able to like kind of zoom in with nothing moving without a pause screen, like at, like at that part where Ryu's doing the Hadouken at the very end and it's kind of zooming in, but nothing's moving. Who, who's yeah. able to fake that that easily? I mean, who threw this no. together overnight or who's been working on this for months if they're, if they're working on it? So yeah, it's definitely real. And if it's not, I'm going to do something still <laughs> you guys can tell me what i should do if i'm wrong i don't care <laughs> yeah man like if, if this shit is fake at this point man yeah we'll, we'll, we'll each grant you a wish every single one of you <laughs> it's fine at this point oh man so it's kind of funny isn't it ironic like i mean because like the work that you did the amazing job that you did dude it convinced everyone not to believe in video footage and then video footage is exactly what you know proves this whole thing to be real um man like 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 right now it's just like a matter of holy crap like how did this originate did you hear about where this whole thing came from no i didn't i saw it was on somebody's like some random youtube channel so i'm assuming that wasn't the source i i, I imagine it's been taken down by the original source by now but a couple of the videos were like one video was, um, but but I think they re-uploaded them or something yeah, like that. Probably. So I'm not 100 percent sure. Everyone's saying right now that there's this one guy apparently who's extremely good at ROM dumping or at least like data mining, and we're currently keeping up with his Twitter right now. And he was even saying for himself like, "Holy crap, Nintendo's probably going to castrate me after this whole thing," because he apparently told a few friends, and of course, obviously, it didn't stay within that group. Next thing you know, the world is exposed to this whole thing. So it's like. What's your opinion on that? Like him telling a group of friends, him having the information, like like what in God's name? I I don't know. I mean, I don't know how these things go down, and 
I, I don't know if someone's job is in jeopardy at this point. Um, so, I, I mean, I hope not. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Definitely. Kind of crazy. I, want, I wanted to share with you as well. So did you see the um, the renders for um, Isabel and Mega Man's Mii costumes? I did not. I, Dude, wait, oh Mega Man, my like, God. The original Mega Man, not the... Not X? Um, no, Damn, Battle Network. I think it's Battle Network. You find no, this? I have not seen that. Um, let me link it to you in the Skype real quick so you can see exactly what's going on. Um, Funk Incarnate, by the way, donated a $5. Thank you very much, man. Um, he's saying, fun fact, the Ryu colors are all from his alternate colors from Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Very good information to know there. Thank you for the donation. But yeah, I sent you the link, so take a look at that, man. This was just leaked like a few minutes ago. Let me take a look. Like a few minutes ago? Literally a few minutes ago. Wow. Interesting. This guy, he's just leaking it out, man. Like, it's, it's just pouring out. This is real. This is for real. Like Confirmed. All, all information from the same guy, same source. Good gracious. He's fast. Yeah, he, he man, works, man. What's like, going to be left for E3? Like, so much uh, stuff has been spoiled at this point. I'm a little bit uh, concerned now. Damn, Omni, I agree, man. Like, and, and on top of everything else, you got to feel a little bit bad for Sakurai himself as well, too. Yeah. All these surprises and everything is just getting spoiled beforehand. One day before. I mean, come on. Seriously, you couldn't just wait for one day, people. It's it's supposed to be tomorrow, <laughs> right? The the direct the Smash yeah, Sunday, yeah. yeah, Sunday. Goodness, it's crazy. It's just damn, man. Yeah, I agree, dude. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people thought that Roy had a good chance, but to be honest, I didn't think that he would get back in. Or rather, I wasn't really thinking about it too much myself. I didn't even give it a thought. Um, what about you? How, how did you feel about Roy? Well, before? I mean, so there's already a Marth clone with it with uh. What's her name? Why is her name? It's Lucina. Uh, uh, so, Lucina. Yeah. yeah. So, is that gonna? Is I mean, from the video, it looked like Roy's moveset hasn't changed much. He still has his B. That it looks like he still he still has his B attack from melee, and mm. I, it looked like the dancing blade or whatever that that attack is called is still there. Mm. So, I mean, how different is he gonna be from Marth and Lucina other than like stat properties and whatnot? Like, like it, it's kind of disappointing. I hope they kind of wolfify him a little bit to make his moveset yeah. a little bit more set apart, but maybe his A attacks are substantially different. I don't know. It is a little bit weird to have two clones with the same character, though. Would would, would um, Marth be the first character to have two clones if Roy so. is identical? Right, holy crap. Yeah, it's a little... It's, it'll be a little bit of a, of a boner killer, I suppose, if he came in with the same moveset as Melee. Um, but yeah, like you said, wolfify him a bit, like kind of make him a little bit diverse. To be honest, like even though I did notice a lot of the similarities from him in the previous um, iteration of Smash, like back in Melee, but I mean still, I saw a couple of differences. I wish I could show the video on stream as well right now too, but Sakurai will amputate my nutsack and I don't want to <laughs> risk that, so I mean... But yeah, man, it, I, I, I saw a couple of differences. I wish I could watch the video again, but I mean, yeah, it's, I'm hoping, I'm hoping and praying that he's diverse, you know? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, we still have to see some full footage so there's going to be a little bit of surprise left when we when we see the direct tomorrow hopefully oh my hopefully God, they man. show us a little bit more than just the i mean why would would the victory sequence be in the direct at all i mean it's a little bit weird yeah like it definitely seemed like it was data mined from right. the game itself right so at least at least the direct will have a little bit more than that even if the surprise is gone i mean we all saw it coming anyway after the the sound files and whatnot were found but yeah but yeah, man, it's um, so so more information is coming in, and we saw that apparently the way that the um, leak happened was someone got their hands on the early DLC patch for Japan. So everything mm -hmm. that we are seeing right now that's leaked is like basically Japanese um, region, and apparently somehow they got their hands on it and they were able to leak it out, or maybe it was given to Japan early. It's still a little bit unclear exactly what the hell is happening here, but like. It just seems weird to me that, like, why would the patch be leaked early at this point, you know? Like, don't they know what's possible? Like, it's just yeah, that's a good question. Crazy. Somebody, somebody done goofed. I don't know how that's already out in the open. Yeah, yeah man, like, there's a running joke right now, like, you know, Reggie, he's probably gonna show up to this guy's door with a sword in hand, man. Does, <laughs> does that mean that the DLC is coming pretty soon then? I mean, this is really premature unless, unless that DLC is actually gonna be available soon. Like, how else would they have that data in the patch? Why would that data be there for just Lucas or whatever, you know? Exactly. Yeah, well, you know, they, he's like full working characters, you know? So, yeah, this is definitely a good question, dude. Like, 
I mean, I'm, I'm hoping and praying that, you know, we get this thing, like, you know, as soon as the direct is over, to be honest. But, I mean, they, they definitely look complete. Like you said, those were the classic mode videos, right? So Yeah, I mean, it'd be weird to include those videos just with the, the Lucas DLC without having Ryu and Roy. Unless they're just doing another thing like they did with the sound files, but... That, that was weird in the first place. I don't know why they're putting these files early. I know, man. I really hope they learn their lesson and to not to not to have anything pre-installed. Because I mean, these, these dumpers, man. Like these um these file explorers, man. These guys go hard, man. They, they pull out everything. It's crazy. Do you think the Japanese developers are aware that that stuff is happening? I mean, I don't know how how connected they are to stuff like. The Smash Reddit is obviously all in English and whatnot, so yeah. I don't know if that community in, in Japan is aware of all the stuff that we're able to do here. Well, yeah, we, we did get a couple of hints um, throughout um, the whole pre-release um, stage of Smash. There were a couple things that gave everybody like a heads up. Some people will speculate that Shulk's reveal trailer, um, the name of it was, well, we have no other choice, and that was after the um, massive summertime leak where Shulk was shown off and everything. And the trailer was released shortly after that, so some people were saying that maybe that was an indication that uh -huh. they knew about the leaks and whatnot. I, I, I was told that that was a reference to something that was said in the game in Xenoblade oh, Chronicles, really? but I'm not sure because I haven't I haven't played the game, so I can't really say. But apparently, okay. that's what I've heard. It, it's a little oh. bit of a coincidence then, if that's the case. But either yeah. way, it's still kind of humorous. <laughs> Damn, son, where'd you find this? Yeah, it definitely. Okay, so I mean, I guess that one's still up in the air. But I mean, being honest, they have to know. They have to. I mean, they have so many hands in so many places. And on top of everything else, a lot of times these guys who uploaded these videos, the videos go down shortly after. Like there was copyright strikes on the original um, Summertime Leap videos where um, Bowser Jr. was shown off and yeah, whatnot. Yeah. So I mean, they have to know to an extent. So that's what makes me wonder. Like I, I, I don't know why they keep doing this to themselves by like, putting the files beforehand. Yeah, they, they, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's being done on purpose. Maybe it's a crazy marketing tactic. I don't know. Could be. Could fucking be. Um, guys, in the chat, I want you to give me some questions um, that you have for Omni as well, too. Um, we'll be waiting for the questions to pop up. But yeah, man, because you know, because Omni, I, he told me he's busy with Smashified. I don't want to take up too much of his time and whatnot. But I mean, still, any questions you guys got for this gentleman right here, definitely shoot them at me in the chat, and we'll read through a couple of them. I'm going to be trying to get to the really good ones. So I mean, yeah, we got that to look forward to in a couple of seconds. But, um, Let's see, any more information from this guy? Because he's just, it's just flowing out like water right now, man. Like, it, good god. Apparently, there's more costumes as well, too. There's a Mega Man Zero costume for the Mii Swordsman that are coming out as well. Man, Capcom, you are just getting all sorts of content in this game. It's crazy. Yeah, really interesting move. Um, considering that, I mean, right now we recently found out that Street Fighter V will be a PS4 exclusive, Damn, so it won't even son, be on the Nintendo consoles this? or Xbox. And, but I guess they do have free reign to use their characters in whatever way they see fit. I would, I'm, I can't wait to hear about what spurred Capcom and Nintendo to get Ryu and Smash. I can't wait. Hopefully I, there's an explanation. There was this guy who tweeted at me wondering why Capcom has two representatives, and I made this joke, like, Capcom clearly doesn't care enough about Mega Man to put him in, have him in Smash Brothers, but Nintendo wanted him, so they were like, well, we'll let you use Mega Man, if you put Ryu in the game. So that's kind of how I see it folding in my head. Oh. I, probably not true, but I think it's a funny scenario. Yeah, I think that's pretty funny, actually. Yeah, man, like, it's it, it's so freaking ironic. I mean, Street, Street Fighter character in the game, like, to be honest, man, I feel like this is a third-party inclusion, which is, like, pretty much almost around the realm of being as serious as Snake was when he was introduced, you know? I mean, Ryu is, like, such a hardcore character. And even in his portrait art, it doesn't really have, like, a cartoony, joking-like feel like some of the Smash characters' portraits. Yeah. It's, like, way more serious. Like, you know, he comes coming into the game hardcore, you know? I mean, I, th I think he's a little bit more deserving, or at least more fitting than than Snake ever was, just because, yeah. you know, he's got his roots in the Super Nintendo and things like that. So I think he's a good fit. It'll be interesting to see how he feels compared to a regular Street Fighter game in Smash. So... I'm looking forward to seeing what he plays like and all that. I'm I'm happy about it. I don't think it's weird. Oh, definitely, dude. Um, wait, okay, so we have questions now. Let's see exactly what these people are saying. So, um, one question from... Uh, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, never mind. We actually have confirmation that the Zero skin was just leaked. So let's take a look at exactly what this is. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> um, 
This shit is a waterfall of Somebody weeks, Somebody is so getting fired. Damn, son, where'd you, you know find it. this? Dollar donation from Dias. Thank you very much, man. Um, what's this guy saying? Uh, it's a game reference. Looks like you don't have a choice. It's said by Shulk if you fight a really strong enemy. Okay, so confirmation of that. I trust the source. Um, yeah, I mean, take a look at this as well, too. I mean, unless you have the guy's page on refresh, but just to make things more convenient for you. But... Aha! Man, those arms are so short. That's crazy. Yeah, they really are. Very fitting of the me. Yeah. I mean, it's exciting. I'm, I I play uh, me Swordsman with my me, so that'll be fun. I'll be zero. Ah, nice. It's a good strategy. And it comes, even comes with the hair on the back, too. So yeah, it works. Nice. I'll go well with my spiky hair. Well, you'll never see the spiky hair with that helmet on. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably not. I mean, does that work really? Does that work okay with your hair now being actually like part of a sea creature? Or <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you guys don't understand, I'm referencing. He he kind of has in his artwork in Splatoon style. So I'm like, hey. <laughs> um. Anyway, so somebody said, um, would you be considering maining Roy or Ryu? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to see how they play. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the way Roy played in Melee. He's just not my style. So if he's anything like that, I probably won't. There's no saying how I'll feel about Ryu until I play but I don't know I don't really have like a main I play a lot of characters pretty consistently so I don't know it'll be fun mm. okay um, so another question from uh, let me see from Your City Paint um, Pigeon Artsy question what if Rayman becomes a DLC character and the render looks really similar to your drawing what will you think uh, I think that will be really cool, and I won't assume that they're stealing anything or anything like that because <laughs> obviously Rayman looks like Rayman. But I'll be super happy about it, and uh, I'll I'll probably say in my head that I had something to do with it, but it's probably not true. <laughs> <But> <laughs> oh man! And of course, um, another standard question. Um, Robin Robinot X asks. Question for you on the what character would you like to see or who did you vote for in the ballot? Well, I voted for Rayman because I felt like I owed it to uh, the Rayman fan base of, to do that. Of course. But if it was my choice, like if I could have anybody, even if it's not realistic, I really want to see Bomberman because I feel mm. like he'd be fun. I feel like he'd have an interesting moveset with it. I think it'd be something similar to Snake where there's a lot of explosives and it's like all about zoning and bomb placement and what you do with bombs and everything is just bombs. But I think that would be a fun character. So that's my, that's my take. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree, dude. Like, I can see the projectile play being a main, like, attraction of this guy. Like, I think a lot of his movesets, like, maybe different kinds of bombs as well, too, for, like, the special. Yeah, bomb. definitely. Uh, there's a lot of options with that. Bomberman, man, I never thought of him being in Smash. It's but sad it, that it's he's just... so dead now. <laughs> I know, man. What happened? Hudson, what happened Hudson over the years? died. I mean, he was, he was uh, kind of dead before Hudson died anyway, but... I mean, I, I wish that character would be brought back to life in some in some way. Damn. Um, another question from uh, let me see um, from Fifth Kai. What if Shantae gets confirmed? What are your opinions of the character? Shantae. Oh gosh. If she's confirmed as like the ballot, like the Smash ballot. Yeah. Basically? Exactly. I mean, I yeah. I think Shantae's a really great character. Um, one of my personal favorite characters. I I think her design is great, and I'm really looking yeah. forward to freaking Half Genie Hero because. I watched the trailer, the E3 trailer. It looks really great. The animation is stellar. It's even better than it was when they launched the Kickstarter. So, yeah, I think that would be a great character addition. I don't really see it yeah, happening, everyone? but you know, it'd be cool. No, yeah, everyone's been everyone's been raving about how good it looks now. Um, the, the, the game came out already, right? It released in America. Which one? Half Genie Hero? No, one week came out on Pirates oh, Curse. Pirates yeah, Curse. Yeah, 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 that one's out. That one's yeah, out for a while. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it was like a redo. Uh, because something came out recently in regards to Shantae. Was I'm it not, the I, Wii U version? I think they had a Wii U version. There we go. That. That's it. There we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so um, the second. So, what's the new one that's coming out that everyone's like excited? About? Uh, the one that was launched on a Kickstarter is Half Genie Hero, which is going to be great because mm. the, the sprites are all in HD, hand drawn, hand animated. Art style is really great. I'm looking forward to it. Games that usually take that really like high quality hand drawn animation style, like kind of like um, King of Fighters, look yeah, yeah. really good in 2D, you know? So, I mean, yeah, Rayman and stuff like that. I like it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, another question What do you think of Rayman's reimagining from like him being like more of a serious character? Damn, on the son, where'd you find like this? A, like more of a little bit playful character. Um, you know, I didn't. Well, that's a good question. He, it's always been a, a really whimsical game. It hasn't always been as goofy as it has been on the, the two recent. Or origins and legends, but 
uh, I really, really like Origins and Legends a lot. I like the tone of the game. It's not as uh, dark as the other ones, but I feel like you can still kind of see remnants of like the art style. If you look back at the older games, you can kind of see how things kind of gradually evolved to way to the way they look now. Uh, but I like I like where Rayman is now. I wish he sold better because <laughs> it's a great game, and it's a it's a pity that his games don't sell well anymore. Yeah. It Damn, is. son, where'd you find this? Um, but all right, and one question for Omni here. Let's see exactly what you guys are saying. Um, well, every, well, of course, we have a lot of people that are just requesting general um, Smashifieds, but um, in terms of an actual <laughs> <laughs> question, um, someone said, did you ever have it planned to do a Smashified for Ryu or Roy, now that they're actual characters? Um, well, as soon as we heard about the, the data from like those sound files, it was always something that I felt like we should just wait it out and see if it actually happens because I feel like it would be kind of a bummer to try to do a smash of it and then just have it blown out of the water by the real thing so we've been kind of avoiding it just to see what happens at E3 so yeah it hasn't really been something that we were planning on doing but now that it's happening there's no need to do it because they look great and <laughs> that makes my job easier so yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like, thank God, man. I, I can only imagine how much of a ball buster it would be to have a Smashified ready and waiting and all, to, just to have the real thing come yeah. be like, hey. Oh, man. Were you worried about that with Splatoon characters, by the way? Or? Uh, no. I mean, we actually planned on doing Splatoon like way back in February, and that was before the 3D renders came out. So when the 3D renders came out, it was like, well, should we still do Smashified? They look pretty close to the Smash style already, but, you know... We wanted to do it by the time the game came out, so we just did it anyway. And I feel like the differences are subtle between the way Smash renders are done and the way they are in Splatoon, so yeah. hopefully we kind of captured those subtle differences. But it, we did have some people say stuff like, this is kind of redundant, why would you do a Smashified for Inkling when they're already in 3D and the, the model hasn't been updated or anything like that? But I feel like it's still justified just to have Inklings on the website. I think it's cool to see yeah i think so too man like i saw a lot of those criticisms myself and dude i uh, to be honest with you man the inkling ones are my favorite one that you've done so far the rayman one definitely second but good god man those inklings killed it with that no not just you though the whole team deserve accolades for all the work that they did man yeah, really well, impressive it's a really stuff. really fun process working with these guys is really cool yeah man kudos to all of them man i mean i apologize for not knowing them by name but you know you guys definitely get my props man easily but, um, yo, Omni, man, thank you for coming through to the stream, showing us some love, man. The chat fucking loves you, man. They appreciate you coming through, too. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. It was kind of a surprise. I was, I've was i been working on a Smashified video, actually, so uh, you guys are going to see that on Monday. So oh, look damn, forward Monday. To that. Yeah. Oh, shit, guys, put that in your calendar. New Smashified coming out on Monday. Um, um, I, some people are asking for hints, but let this man. man he, we gave let, hints let, on Twitter already. If you missed it, you missed it. Too bad. Oh, okay. Did the hint that you give me, the hint you gave me, was the same one on Twitter? Uh, I don't remember what hint I gave you. <laughs> uh, it involved a color. Oh, uh, what was the color? Red. Was it red? Oh gosh. Yeah. Well, then I won't say the hint on Twitter. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then well, that's all you guys get. That's it. That's it. Game over. All right. Um, Omni, man, thank you for coming through, guys. Um, give, give Omni a warm farewell, man. We, I don't want to hold you off too much from your work. I, we've seen ourselves firsthand how much those Smashified require from you guys. So, you know, I'll, I'll definitely leave you to that, dude. But, man, on, a, on, a, on another basis, you you playing Splatoon all night? You got to play with me so I can bust that ass sometime. Yeah, <laughs> I have to add you. I, we're not friends on Wii U yet, so I'll have to add you. Yeah, definitely, dude. Definitely got to get on top of that, man, just so I can just randomly join a game that you're playing or whatever. Because I usually play late night myself so hey yeah let's do it definitely yo omni man thank you for coming through man yeah thank you i'll talk to you later dude all right see everyone you say bye to omni man let's get a bye bye for omni peace out dude later see ya